Hey everyone, Jason Hill here and I'm back at Disneyland and I'm checking out the Little Red Wagon corn dog booth. They don't have the recipe here, so I'm gonna take this back home and try and duplicate it. And it's just such a easy take and go snack. Super delicious, deep fried. It's not healthy, but you know. Oh wow. We're gonna make these at home. All right, so we made it back home. The people at the Red Wagon told us that they use a mixture of a chicken and beef hot dog, and most message boards say that it's the John Morrell brand. You can use whatever hot dog you like to use. Today, I'm just using a turkey dog. Anyway, let's get started on the batter. I'm gonna start with the wet ingredients for the batter first. So you're gonna need one egg. And then I follow that with three quarters cup of buttermilk. Two tablespoons of vegetable oil. And then two tablespoons of raw organic honey. Get all that in there if I can. Nice little whisk. Now for the dry portion of the batter, you're gonna need a cup of all-purpose flour, followed by a cup of cornmeal. That's why they call it a corn dog. Doing a half teaspoon of salt, followed by two teaspoons of baking powder, two tablespoons of sugar in the raw, that up. All right, now we're just gonna add the wet ingredients into the dry. Okay, and we're gonna fold it. Just give it a couple turns. And if it seems to be a little too thick, we can always add a little bit more <coughs> of the buttermilk. I'm gonna go with about another quarter cup. You do want it to be thick on the thicker side. We don't want it to be runny, but then we don't want it to be too thick to where it's not going to coat onto the hot dog. It's looking pretty good. Try a little bit more. There we go. There's our batter. Looks good to me. So I've grabbed a large plastic tumbler that I'm gonna pour the batter in so that way it's easy dipping for the hot dogs. Let's get in there. And get all the way to the top almost. About three quarters of the way. Now I've got my deep fryer out and I'm gonna preheat it to 350. All right, while your oil is preheating, let's go ahead and skewer up a few dogs. And I'm just using the standard barbecue or bamboo skewer. You can use a popsicle stick if you like. And I'm just gonna go right down the middle. You just wanna have enough stick left for the handle. All right, into the batter we go. All the way down, move it around a little bit, bring it back out, and there we go. Okay, we're going to drop into the deep fryer. Like I said, just slowly put it in the oil and let it coat the dog before dropping all the way in. There we go. Then it floats. All right, after about six minutes on this guy, it's ready. Nice color there. Just going to raise the basket up. Let it drip for a second. Okay, I just have some traditional yellow mustard here and some ketchup. I'm going to dip it into both. I'm double dipping. <laughs> Let's take a bite. Oh wow. I take a look how thick this batter is. Nice and crunchy on the outside. 
soft on the inside. That is a good doodle kit. Well, as always, give this recipe a try. Let us know what you think. And as always, thanks for tuning in, guys.